right, y'all, we are back at you for another episode of... Red Pirates. Yeah, that's right. I'm your Captain Edward Teach, and this is my vessel, the... Oh, whoops. The Queen Anne's Revenge, and we're going to be sailing the high seas today looking for what? Free plant. Yeah, that's right, y'all. Today is Landscape Debris Pickup Day in our community, so we're going to sail around in our golf cart here looking for free plants. And you guys can see it's still pretty early out. Daylight savings time is still messing with us. Um, so I'm going to ask everybody to stick with us. These cam The cameras that I have don't do great in low light, but it's going to get light pretty quick, I think. So me and Teddy are going to get going down the road because somebody else is out to get our plants. Who? The British Royal Navy. The British Royal Navy, a.k.a. the Waste Management Landscape Debris Trucks. They come along and crush up all of our plants if we don't get them first. So we're going to get going, and we'll get back with everybody when we get something good. Looks like someone set out three pallets of sod. We could definitely use some new grass, right, buddy? And yeah. I mean, obviously, this guy doesn't need it. Look how nice his grass is. Yeah. So we're going to load that sod up uh, on top of the golf cart. Okay. All right, we came across some real sorry cuttings of plumeria and apple cactus here. You can see, though, how tough this plumeria is. It's sitting in this pile, and it's shooting off new growth crazy so we'll grab uh, a couple of those in this apple cactus here all right y'all we've switched from plant pirates to other stuff pirates again yeah we're gonna have to grab this decorative thing here because i know that my wife would like it so teddy's gonna put that in oh the back it's real the light all right good all right we spotted some prickly pear cactus you think you can yeah. get it kiddo yeah you climb down there don't don't prick yourself too bad i see some more popping out of the pile you guys can see it's like stuff is so tough, like the plume area. It's just growing in this pile here. Yeah. Alright, nice. Excellent. Alright, y'all. It's like deja vu. This truck right here, this plant crusher truck, always beats us to this street. So we're going to zoom up there and turn around just in front of him and see if we can't get something good before he gets it all. He's giving us the chase back there. We got to get away. He knows that we're out for his plants, and he's out for our plants. Oh man, I think his vehicle's a little faster than ours, don't you think, bud? Yeah, I think it goes highways. Yeah, all right, all right. I, I gotta put this camera down and start driving. All right, here's some giant bromeliads right here. Philodendron, too. Yeah, but there's a little pup. Yeah, I see a little one right here. This will be easier to grab. Maybe. There we go. All right. Sweet, we'll take that one. All right, we got a couple tea plant cuttings here. Oh, and look at that. Like a purple... Uh, Aloe. aloe sweet all right i think we'll, we'll we'll save this aloe and these tea plants from the trash here all right it looks like there is a banana plant right here with roots on it sweet who knows what variety but we will take that one for sure all right we just rolled up on a trash can full of little speckled bromeliads here oh there's some pretty ones in here look at that nice so we will definitely save several of these from the trash. All right, we just rolled up on a huge pile of aloe here. I mean, that's more aloe than, than we would ever need, but we're definitely gonna save some of these. You wanna grab some of those good ones, kiddo? Some of those right there? Look at this leaf. Yeah, I know, seriously. All right, sweet, we'll save a couple of these from the trash. Look wow. at the beautiful flowers on these giant green bromeliads here. They are just gorgeous, aren't they? Wow, oh, yeah. Wow. I gotta see if we can get a close up here. They, they look just, like they're on fire. They do look like they're on fire. Man, they're just gorgeous. What a cool flower. I think we have that kind of bromeliad too at home. Oh, yeah. I can't wait for that flower. Yeah, they're cool. All right, here is some Chefalera cuttings. Some variegated chefalera, and this cutting. one's super easy to plant from cuttings. Super easy. We're definitely going to save that. Alright, we just rolled up on some coconuts here. Some brown coconuts. We use these for garden borders, and we sprout them too. So we'll, we'll, we'll grab a couple of them. Alright, we made it back. 
Me and Teddy searched and searched and searched today. This is one of the harsh realities about plant pirates is not every week you're going to get a whole lot of stuff right off the bat. But we got some good stuff. So I, Annalise hasn't seen any of it yet, nope. so let's show her. You want to show her the other stuff first? Yeah, right here. First, let's take coconuts. Oh, yeah. So first we got some no coconuts. No look. These are obviously brown coconuts, but you hear the water inside of them. We should be able to sprout them, and we can also use them as, um, like I was saying earlier, we use them as garden borders for our pathways and stuff. <coughs> so, okay. we grabbed a couple of them. How many did we get? Just three? Three. All right, we'll just stick them right here for now. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we got, yep, we got your mom. Oh, pretty. This thing, I don't know if you want it or not. If we you can... want it, we have to paint it. We yeah, can, we'll paint well, it. Well, I think that's the distressed look. No, know? I mean, ah, uh, the... Oh, paint the, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like so, somebody started doing it. You might be it. able to grow something up it, too. Use it as, like, a trellis Oh, yeah, a that'd be really cool. You know? Or put it in the yard. I don't so. know. We grabbed it. We I figured like it. if you didn't want it, we could just stick it back out in the trash. Yeah, or so. we could donate it to yeah. All right. somebody else who Let's might want it. Here. Okay, there's a two-headed banana. <clears throat> All right, what else we got? Yes, we got a two-headed banana, for real. For real? Pull it out, yeah. So we collect banana varieties. Um, you guys can see here, every every one of these clumps of bananas is a different kind of banana. We actually have like 30 something varieties of bananas. Oh, um, but we don't often see this. We've never, yeah. It's, 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 oh. You can see this banana plant had like two plants coming out of it. Not a pop. This isn't like an extra pop. It's like literally had two. It's like almost like it was like yeah, so a. It like uh, died and this came out or something. Yeah, it's like almost like it was like a. Um, what are the joined twins? A conjoined twin. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. We don't see this very often. It, it almost looks like an exoskeleton even. Yeah. Like the plant died and here's what was inside it's of it. Weird. It's like. But, it's weird. It's like this is coming out of the inside of a dead one. I yeah. think that's what it is. But anyways, it, it has a nice root ball on it and yeah, it has it some nice leaves on it. I think we'll be able to plant this and save it. For sure. Um, who knows what variety it is, but we'll take it regardless. As long as it's got banana. Yeah. All right, what else we got? Chefalera. Chefalera. This These is root's so easy. Super easy one to root from cuttings. Probably the easiest plant I've ever tried to root from cuttings. They yeah. just... They don't even drop a leaf. Yeah, you can stick Crazy. this in a pot and it'll look just like this until it roots. It's real amazing. Okay, so. let's finish out this pot with aloe. With aloe? What kind of aloe we got in here? We got two kinds of aloe today, I think. Oh, this is yeah. my favorite. This yeah. is like the traditional. Yeah, so this is a great one for um, using the actual... Um, aloe for sunburns and stuff like that it has nice these nice thick juicy leaves you guys can see here when you snap it you get all this goodness you can just rub that right on your face or right on your sunburn and i've been using it um to root my cuttings too okay all right what else Let's what else we got bromeliads yep we got some sorry um speckled bromeliads here but these i know this it does look sorry and it's already had a flower, but if, if we plant this, it will shoot off new pups for us. So. And then we'll just discard And that. then we'll discard that one, yes, for sure. So we got a couple of those. There's a whole can of those, but we only grabbed a couple. Okay, yeah. Ouch. Oh. What else you got? Be careful oh, in there. Oh, it's purple. Yeah, so now we got this purple one right here. Cool. Yeah, it is cool. I think we already have this one. Yeah, we do. Um, And I'm not sure. I think it... Why is it is always purple? yeah i know i think they're green usually i don't know if it turned purple because it flowered or because it was in the sun yeah um super super pretty though speckles on it and everything it's a nice one okay so i don't know why we grabbed this paddle cactus yeah i'm teddy's afraid to paddle cactus because me and him ate some the other day and you guys ate prickly yeah i know like an idiot i i we ate one of the lobes of a prickly pear cactus without um you know doing anything shaving the it. shaving the uh really skin off, off and we got all these little it felt like we were eating it felt like we had a fiberglass in our mouth when we were done eating it it was pretty bad yeah. so teddy's mouth hurt all day yeah but this is a spineless variety right here you can eat these lobes and you can eat the fruits that come off of them too i'm not gonna eat the lobes though unless we all right here's our sorry go ahead and grab the other cutting here's our sorry plumeria and I have to be honest with everyone, this plumeria, these plumeria cuttings were sitting in this pile three weeks ago, and we passed on them three weeks ago, but we had such a hard time finding stuff today, we grabbed them. And you can see they're shooting off new leaves and flower buds from just sitting on the ground in the pile like we that. We have one that's just sitting on the ground over there. Yeah. That 
It's yeah. Oh, same with there for two years. Same with this uh, bridal bouquet. Don't we have a piece of bridal bouquet plumeria down here that's yeah. still alive? Yeah, yeah look at this. Yesterday. Yeah. So this piece right here obviously snapped, got hit by a ba basketball or something, but it's just been laying on the ground for months, I guess. And look, it just shot off new leaves with the spring. So this stuff is just tough. It's it's indestructible almost. So. All right, what else we got? Okay, we got a spiky apple cactus. Oh yeah, we got no, a real... That's a, that's a barbed wire cactus. Okay, yes it is, yep. That makes sense. Yep. Barbed wire. Yeah. And you can see the um, this was another one that was in the pile three weeks ago and we left it, but we took it uh, we took it this time and you can see it's shooting off new growth. And you can literally just lay this thing on the ground like that and cover it with dirt and it'll start growing. You don't even have to cover yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, to... yeah. It'll just put off roots. Okay. Bromeliad. Okay, yeah. So this I think this is a big variety. Oh yeah. Yeah. You can tell um, by how how like close how, leaf the pup is. Yeah, how big the pup is. <laughs> yeah, and look, 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 it's barely opening its leaves. Yeah, so. yeah. So that variety will probably get to be about three foot tall. We just grabbed a little one. So. Okay, tea plants with roots. Yeah, so tea plants. This is one, an easy one. We get this a lot that you can plant from cuttings, but if we can get one with roots, that's even better. So. Yeah, they look pretty um, sorry. They do look pretty sorry. In fact, that's another thing I need to point out here. If you look at our hall today, everything looks a little toasty. And it's because we live in Central Florida and it's hot down here all the time and it hasn't rained for like, I mean, it's rained once in six weeks maybe. So, yeah. I mean, everything's pretty toasty. Unless uh, you have irrigation, your plants are toasty toasty, so. That's uh, probably why you didn't find a lot because- I think so. Stuff's not growing yeah. because there's no rain. I think so. But we, did, we still did okay. Um, I guess I'm the most stoked about Maybe the banana plant? What, do, what about yeah. you guys? Banana. Yeah, yeah. Banana. all right. Just because I'm excited about getting more bananas. Well, and it's exciting to see what this is. It might be a super cool variety. We won't yeah. know for a about banana, a year, I think but. Banana, you can twin variety every yeah. time. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? That's crazy. It might yeah. be a double, double Mahoey. A, do, a triple Mahoey? A quadruple Mahoey? Yeah, quadruple. Uh, who knows? Uh, uh, Maybe it'll turn into a variegated Monstera for us. What do you think? Or a variegated banana. Yeah, who knows? That'd be even better. That'd be killer. All right. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed the our little adventure here. If you have any questions or comments about any of the plants we found today, just post down below. If you did enjoy our adventure, maybe you'd consider subscribing to our family's YouTube channel. Um, and if they don't consider subscribing, what's going to happen, bud? They're going to have to eat prickly pear. Oh, you're going to have to eat prickly pear cactus like me and Teddy did. And then you're going to spend the rest of the day with little pieces of fiberglass feeling in spikes in your mouth so maybe just skip all that and consider subscribing to our channel till next time everybody out there take care Bye.